Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today I'm going to be making this year's um, donated bins. Uh, this is usually something I try and do, or I've started doing, kind of like Earth Day presents. And um, so what I've done is I went and got these little bins from Walmart. They are a 5.5 gallon store all tote. And then I've got the lids with about a half inch hole in the back on the top of the lids. And this is probably a quarter of a bin of my prepared bedding. I will link up to the top. I'm going to add some coconut coir to each one of the bins. Mix that all up. And this should give them a good house to live in for a good long time and then also leave them space to do their own thing when they get the bins. There we go. Coconut core really does help keep the paper from permanently sticking together. And there's my husband drilling in the background making me some pots. I'm going to start growing figs. Um, and popular theory is that you should put them in a bucket until you figure out where they are happiest. You know. Okay, and here are the worms. Um, got some of the uh, original bedding and whatnot that they were in. And so I'm going to put half in this side and half in each side. So the people who have wanted these bins um, are interested in fishing and composting. So these are European night crawlers. There might be some red wigglers in there, but mostly European night crawlers. These are the offspring from my Titan experiment. If you want to see how that went, you can link a link up there. I'll also put a link to the bedding. All right, so then they want these for fishing as well as for compost, so I'm going to get them started with a grain feeding, which I now know to be the way that most people who want to grow their worms physically bigger in size, faster, feed grain rather than just kitchen scraps. So these guys are in their original bedding and my composted bedding but then I'm also going to give them a bit of a grain feeding, which is ground up oatmeal and grits and cornmeal. So I'm going to just give them, there's probably about a half a pound of worms in each one, but since this is brand new bedding and there's really no food in here, there's no food in here, pugs need not apply. Since there's no food in here at all, I wanted to make sure to give them a good, a good feeding so that they can get going. The grits are ready in with the bedding. And so this should keep them pretty good and they shouldn't have to mess with them other than to look at them, you know, for a couple of weeks. All right, then that's pretty much it. I'm going to put the top on got a latch. These were only $10 at Walmart. So there shouldn't be any problems with the worms uh, wanting to run amok because most of the time when I see that they do that it's because they're in a brand new bin without uh, familiar surroundings. So in theory they should be okay but they're going to stay home with me for a couple of days and so I will see if they're going to be okay. Uh, before I hand them off to their new worm parents. All right, guys. Well, that's all I've got for you today. So if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, click that little notification bell. Well, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms today.
everybody have a good day.